so wet. Uh, right, well, it's downhill, I think. Hold on tight. Bus lane. Okay. Oh, oh. No longer on the bus lane. <laughs> oh, are you okay? Well, I think so. It's brew day, and the boys are starting on their 50k Grand Tour de Beer in Cognac, where they'll meet up with David and mash in on their new state-of-the-art brew cycling system. From there, they'll ride 30 kilometers east to Chateauneuf-sur-Chiron, where they'll sparge and transfer the wort and add the Pinot. Then it's another 20 kilometers to the finish line in Angoulême, where they'll pitch the yeast and cheers to an easy ride where absolutely nothing will possibly have gone wrong. To keep them on course and well hydrated, they'll be mentored by Aurelien from La Deboche, who convinced them earlier in the show that he's a great coach. I'm a terrible coach. And absolutely loves cycling. I, I don't want to bike. I hate that. Ah, it'll be fine. David, this looks perfect. We have a mobile brew system. Mash done, pre-fitted with our pillow block gimbal system here. All you have to do is mount this to our rotating gimbal system here pedal away. Okay, but there's a slight problem. There's going to be almost boiling liquids yes. in here. Yes. There's going to be someone sitting here. We're going to be bouncing about. How do we avoid that person getting burned with all the liquids? Well, I would suggest that the rider just ride smoothly. So I'm going to cycle some, Martin's going to cycle some, yes. and you're going to coach us along the way. Yeah, right. I will have a coach's car. So Martin, you're probably a slightly better cyclist than I am. So I might take the first leg, and then you can take all the hills at the end. I'll take the glory as we finish. Yeah, you will. I'm a massive fan of the Tour de France. I always watch it on TV, and I always think the same thing. What would make this better? And what would make it better is making beer whilst on the journey. Absolutely. Thanks, David. OK. Ciao. Let's mash in, Bye. and let's get this thing going. What's the malt build for this beer? Pilsner, pale ale, and a little bit of caramel. Oh yeah, a bit of caramel. But it's a small recipe, not a lot of malt, because we will use the pinot. Let's do this. Perfect. I will take the saddle. You got any in? Oh. 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 It hasn't started too well. It's a, it's a good job I wasn't in the bike, to be honest. Perfect. OK, I think we're good to go. If you can take the safety blocks off, go to the coach's yeah. car, and we'll hit the road. Martin, adopt the safety position. I've got the safety gloves. Good, OK. Awesome. See you soon. OK, James, let's go. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, this is really smooth. Oh, shit. <laughs> How was that? You OK? I think, I think I might have broken a vertebrae. As long as the beer's OK, I think we're in good shape. It's fine. How far is it? Hopefully not too far. Come on, Carl. Just 50 kilometers left. Did he say 50 kilometers? If you want some beer, guys, let me know. Faster for beer, James. OK. Maybe closer. <laughs> Perfect. This is really tough. Just cycling is difficult, but I've got you and a mash ton behind me as well. I don't think I've had enough beer for this. Bonjour! Bonjour! Oh, the, the mash ton's going crazy. <laughs> What's the mash ton? Why is it doing that? Whoa! Be careful with the beer. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be mixed up nicely the whole way there. So instead of having a little agitator on the bottom, we've got James with some strong legs taking us to Chateauneuf. What side of the road do you drive on here? Well, not this side, because there's a car coming. It's not the good side of the road. I get confused after yeah. Scotland. You can't say on this side, but you're going to die. I'm going to die? And we don't want to see you die today. Not in France. You are so slow right now. I want this beer in Angoulême tonight. I'm going as fast as I can. I can give you some music right now. I would love some music. Fantastic. Oh, these vineyards are beautiful. It's amazing. Never it's like... mind the views. Worry about pushing 400 watts. <laughs> I'm worried about pushing one James watt. I'm going to give James some sustenance. Can you reach my hand? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Thank you. I'm feeling it now. Woo. I'm whoa, fueled. It's filling. <laughs> Very fast. <laughs> How are you doing? Too much speed. Slow down. Ah! The fast and the furious. Oh no, no, no. Crazy. 
While beer proves itself once again to be an excellent performance enhancer for cycling, the ultimate performance enhancer for cars remains fuel. Stop the car, the car's broken down. Our cycling coach is out of action. So while Aurelian stays behind to fire his driver, James and Martin are left to the harrowing task of finishing their long journey without a guide. Pretty much like everything else they've ever done. Oh wait, nope, there's Aurelian. Quick off, faster, ah! <laughs> What the hell are you doing, man? Oh, he's helping. Oh yeah, I am too. Oh, now, they, now we're kicking on gas. This is the way to go up the hill. Lance Armstrong's my favorite, so today, to pay tribute to my sport and hero, I'm doped up to the max and missing a testicle. Just jump, jump on and do it, help. Ah, oh, mother <laughs> <laughs> We're finally pulling into Chateau Neuf. Oh my goodness. Almost there, keep going. I think it's somewhere here that we should, uh, should do the sparging. Oh, 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 oh. You guys okay back there? I'm being down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, here we are. I think it's maybe time for you guys to do some work now as well. Brilliant, let's take this thing apart. This one. Perfect. How are we looking, Martin? Very good. Okay. Very much so. Okay. Right, I'm gonna cut this off and let's cut it off there as well. So it is a sparge completed. Yeah. And do you know that Angoulême is a fortified city? And that's just like a normal city, but they add a little bit of cognac to it. Important part now, get this burner on and get the boil. It's not great for fingers if you like them. <laughs> Whoa! Slightly high, if anything. <laughs> I'm standing by, Martin. Try that again. I think these cycling tops are quite flammable as well. I thought you were gonna explode the city centre just now. A bit worried. What hops are we getting using this beer? For the bitterness, it's Columbus. Columbus? Yeah. And for the aroma? Aroma, it's citra, falconer sprite, and mosaic. Awesome. So some old school and some new school yeah. hops in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I fixed it. You did that. <laughs> what happened? Okay, let's try that again. You sure you don't want to light it? No, not one. I don't want to burn myself. No. Ball flame. It's burning like crazy. We're going to be boiling in no time. Oh! I fixed it again. It's okay. fine. Right, let's get these hops in before we blow the whole thing to pieces. Okay. No, I never come close again to this thing. And for I said we wanted to blow up the beer seed here, this is not quite what I had in mind. Good job with the hops. This is almost too much excitement for one day. Oh. So the boil's almost finished. I'm going to add these final hops. And for the first time ever, I'm going to add the hops with a fire extinguisher in my hand. Oh, this sipped on the zake smells so good. Good luck, hops. It's really exciting for us to be able to infuse cognac, the spirit, the flavor, the culture of it into this beer. Yeah, if you come in front and in this area, you have to do something with cognac. Yeah, so the Pinot, it's a more quick taste. Mm. One more. Maybe be more, more. Just to make sure it's okay to put the bits. It's mm. amazing. Martin, you're going to need all the energy you can get. You should take an extra shot. You're right. I'm just going to be sitting in the back, annoying you. We should put some in the beer. Yeah. It's fine. We should keep Hold on. <laughs> I think we need a little bit more in the beer. Stand back, watch your toes. Oh, this is hot. <clears throat> this is hot. Smelling really good, though. You're instantly getting these amazing fruit flavors from the citra and the mosaic hops intermingling with the cognac notes, with yeah. the fresh grape juice in there. That pinot is incredible. You can smell. Yeah, you can smell. What do you smell as a pinot? We always love to taste the wort as well. See if we can do this without burning anyone. In case to be careful, this is very hot. Thank you. Should be good? Yeah, it's about right. This is the culmination of our work today so far. I think this is going to make a fantastic beer. It's going to be low alcohol, yeah. 3%. The citron and mosaic are popping up, but then there's the little note of the grapes as well. The pinot yeah. coming through, a little bit of the alcohol at the moment, you know, that's probably going to the dissipate of, a little bit. The of the cognac and the, the pinot with a low ABV. You really get a taste of the terroir of cognac. Yeah, it's the most strange brewed day in all my life. <laughs> and it's only halfway done. <laughs> Let's get back on this bike. Cheers. I don't think there's a massive rush to get back in the bike, is there? No, I think there maybe is. Everyone holding on? I'm holding on tight. I'm okay. Oh, oh. Ah. that's fine. The final stretch. We're going, Martin, you're doing a good job. The work's cooling down nicely back here. We're keeping a good eye on it. Your bum looks really good in those cycling shorts. Oh, thank you. Woohoo! 
getting a little bit steeper. You can do this. I believe in you. I don't believe in me. I'm struggling to breathe. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, we're getting behind him. Slipstream, slipstream. He's gone. You're actually doing quite a good job, Martin. The work's not swinging about too much and I'm doing the very important task of stabilizing it with my foot. Make sure you hold on carefully. 10 kilometers to angle him. Thank goodness. I need some assistance, guys. Oh. Thanks, Aurelian. Awesome. Feel the burn, get in the zone. Visualize success. Think about how many people's going to love this beer. Come on, come on. You've got this. It's really going to get you into Tour de France next year. On that hill. I want to stop. Why would someone choose this road? I feel a bit like we're a bobsleigh team. <laughs> These hills are savage. You're telling me. Martin, I think it's all downhill from here. I hope so. Okay, guys, jump back on. Okay. Thanks for your help. Oh. Uh oh. Only eight kilometers left and heading downhill. Things are looking sunny for this booze infused Grand Tour, except for that dark cloud and all the falling water. Oh my goodness, this weather is going from bad oh, to worse. Oh, this is wet. Worse. But we are so close right now. We keep the worst part of the road for the end. So wet. Uh, <laughs> this weather is not much fun for that. Right, it's downhill, I think. Hold on tight. Bus lane. Okay. Oh, oh. No longer on the bus lane. Okay, guys, the brakes oh. are rolling. Oh. Are you okay? Well, I think so. <laughs> right, what just happened? <laughs> it's quite slippy. We could fix this. I'm not sure if we can fix Martin. And the bottle. Oh, that's fine. The bottle's fine. Yeah. D did you get injured? I don't know. Do you feel qualified to be behind the wheel or do you want someone to take over? I think we're all over this. We well, just have to go carefully. I think you're all over the pavement. Seems to be okay. Feel free to jump on. It's very safe. We're almost there. Right, guys, the finish we're line. The finish line. Hey. It's enough cycling forever. Well done. What a day. Yeah, what a day. Much tougher than the actual Tour de France as well. Maybe. The work feels pretty cool now. I think we could probably yeah. pitch the yeast. As our host for today and our guide to France, we'd love you to pitch the yeast. Perfect. I think it's definitely time for a beer, then maybe another beer, yeah. then another beer. And then because this is a race, someone has to do the urine sample. Simple. This has, I think, been one of the hardest brew challenges we've ever had. We've cycled almost 60 kilometers from Cognac to Angoulême. There was huge hills, there was weather to contend with, there was yeah. some fantastic coaching, there was mechanical breakdowns, yeah. a small accident at the end, but we're all yeah. here. We almost yeah. blew up a town square. That happened. <laughs> Maybe you should do that again tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs>